A lot of people don't want to hear what I have to say in this video, but I think the stock market will crash and a big reason for it will be cryptocurrencies like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. In this video, I'm going over my opinion on the current market conditions and my prediction for how a market crash would occur in 2022. A video like this wouldn't be complete without a Warren Buffett quote. And I like this one and I think it applies a lot to what we're seeing in the market today. And that's be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. And this is a very popular quote by Warren Buffett, but I think it applies perfectly to what we're seeing today and what you'll kind of see throughout this video that a lot of people right now, they're focusing on, on how they can make the best return, make the quickest return, uh, and basically just make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. And all around that kind of points to just the overall greed that you're kind of seeing in the market across the board and specifically in cryptocurrencies. So I wanted to start with a story here that actually came up today at work. So I sit a couple of little doors down from the kitchen at work and there were a couple of guys eating in the kitchen at lunchtime and they were talking about inflation. Uh, and one of the guys is a around 65 years old and another guy is around 40, 35 to 40 years old. And the, they were talking about inflation and everything kind of going up in price. And the 65 year old brought up that he should buy Bitcoin and that Bitcoin was a great hedge for him against inflation. And this, in my mind, shot up red flags because, right, this is someone who should be focusing on retirement, focusing on basically securing the bag, making sure that they lock down their investments, are getting honest returns, but not overly risk and overly leverage themselves into something that we and even people in the who are bullish on crypto, I think would agree that is a high risk investment, at least at this point in time. So you're seeing even kind of in that story that there's a certain amount of greed uh, in the market. And I'm sure everyone kind of has stories like that where they're hearing about these things at work, whether, whether it's Dogecoin, Shiba, uh, Bitcoin, whatever it may be. And the reason I have taxis on the screen here is it, it brings me back to a saying that I've heard a few times where if you hear a stock pick from a taxi driver or from your taxi driver, it's probably too late to buy that stock. And that's kind of what we're seeing. You're, you're hearing about all these cryptocurrencies and hearing about how great the stock market is all over from everyone, whether it's at work, whether it's at family events. If you listen, you're going to hear it. And right now, there's a lot of greed out there because a lot of people are feeling like they missed out. The average person is getting FOMO. They're, they're feeling like they missed out on the Shiba on Dogecoin. And that is the worst time to invest when there's a lot of FOMO in the market because FOMO is really just another, another word for greed. So if you didn't like my stories, uh, I also have charts. So the first thing we have here is obviously SPY. And you can see it, it's ran up uh, quite a bit, obviously over the last year. So 2020, this is when we saw the drop off. And in the last year, we've seen it run up an insane amount, basically. We're up 30% when the market really only averages around eight to 10%. So we are three times what the, the market averages. Year to date, we're still up uh, close to 30%. So we're really kind of pushing. Uh, obviously, over time, you see the market go up. And, and it's trended that way, obviously, since the inception of the, the stock market and the S&P 500. But you do still have these cycles, right? So 2000, you saw a cycle and cycle back down. So it went from a, a high and cycled down. And then you saw, again, 2007 cycled high and then cycled back down so there's this clear cycling pattern that we'll get into a little bit later in the market or sorry in the video but you're seeing that in the market right we're going through those cycles and eventually we have to come to a point where we see that cycle come about again so another chart we have here we have the uh, PE ratios of the S&P 500 so here right now we're sitting at about a 30 which we've almost seen never uh, basically in the history of the market other than look at that 2001 and 2008. And on top of all that, just to point out some of the cryptocurrencies, right? We have Bitcoin going up, up 240% in the last year. So you're seeing Bitcoin shoot up 
and then even the extremes of obviously Shiba Inu, you have 76 million percent increase in Shiba Inu. Obviously, this is just insane and, and unheard of, and it's 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 awesome for anyone who's buying kind of any anywhere before now. But I just fear that right this right here is showing a lot of greed in the market. A lot of people getting in on this run up, thinking that it's going to a penny or whatever kind of where is it going to go and, and trying to be a part of it. And I just fear that, right, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong when you're when you're buying up here. Next, I want to go over how I think all this ties together and how it will basically create a stock market crash. And all of basically this thought process that I've had comes from listening to people like Ray Dalio and specifically this video that I have here on the screen. So how the economic machine works by Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio uh, managed one of the biggest hedge funds, if not the biggest hedge fund in the world uh, called Bridgewater Associates. Uh, and he has a very good understanding of basically how the market works. He worked a, a lot on basically trying to create a process for investing that minimizes risk compared to return and basically found it all had a lot of success uh, doing it. So he has a really good understanding of the market. And in this video, he basically sets all the framework for what I'm going to talk about in the next part of this video. The first factor you have that could potentially lead to a stock market crash in 2022 is the Fed increasing interest rates. So in this article you can see on published on November 10th, 2021, is that the Fed is likely expected to increase interest rates as early as July. And this affects the short-term debt cycle. So if you watch that video by Ray Dalio, basically I think we are going to run into a short-term debt cycle. I don't think it's gonna be a long-term debt cycle where we experience a crash like 2008. Uh, or anything like 2001 either uh, but I think the short-term debt you're gonna see basically start having issues right because as the Fed increases interest rates people who have debt and have short-term debt specifically are going to suffer they are going to pull back and, and basically have to stop spending as much which thus will affect businesses and when businesses are affected growth will slow with those businesses which means they have to slow hiring uh, and increasing of wages, which means thus in turn, right, as wages uh, stagnate or don't increase or even decrease, basically there's less, uh, consumers have less ability to borrow. So it, it just cycles on itself, basically. As interest rates rise, you'll basically keep seeing that cycle. And where I think that's gonna basically come into the crypto market is I think you're going to have a lot of people who have debt or who have taken out debt or over leverage themselves into crypto basically run into trouble because right if, if they have debt on crypto and if one domino basically is pulled out in that that basically crypto market you can start seeing everything else start to fall through it's basically the reverse of a short squeeze so you have a bunch of people, right, who might have to pay bills now because they their wages are are increase or are decreasing. Basically, now they have to pull their money from somewhere else to be able to pay for their bills. So if they have a crypto account and they have a little bit of money in it, they're going to have to pull their money out to pay off these other basically expenses that are now there uh, from the increased um, interest rates. And when that happens, right, a few people pull out, a few more people pull out, a few more people pull out, and you see everything pull back. And when the market pulls back on crypto, it's gonna affect everyone, basically right in the crypto market, but I think it's also going to transcend to the stock market. Because now those people who basically saw a, a huge dip in one asset class, uh, which is cryptocurrency, they are going to be worried basically about their other asset class, which may be stocks. So now they need to basically pull funding out of their stocks to either cover leverage in their cryptocurrency accounts. They might have basically borrowed money to basically 
buy cryptocurrency. And if that cryptocurrency falls, right, then they're going to be in trouble. They're going to be forced to, to liquidate some other asset to cover their expenses of cryptocurrency. So basically, you see that the crypto, if the crypto market falls, there's the potential for the stock market to fall because of basically liquidation of stocks to cover uh, leverage within the crypto market. So with that said, I would see things playing out kind of like this. I would see the Fed increasing interest rates sometime in July, if not sooner. Before that, I would see the Fed basically start talking about increasing interest rates, which I think the market will react negatively to. Uh, there's a common saying that sell in May go away. I would not be surprised if next May is a very uh, poor month in terms of stock returns and cryptocurrency and everything all around. Uh, I think fears will gradually increase and increase throughout the year as, um, as we get closer to July and eventually the Fed will basically increase interest rates and I think the market will react very negatively to that. The real question is gonna come about in the months and even year past that, where do people basically begin to suffer from what I talked about, where interest rates rise and now they have issues basically paying their additional interest, whether it's a mortgage that had a variable interest rate and it increases, right? There were a ton of people um, millions and millions of people who bought homes in 2020 uh, and even throughout 2021. And if you see in 2022, the interest rates rise and people had variable mortgage rates, they could see their mortgage uh, rate, basically their mortgage payment increase because of the new interest rates and, and interest rates being higher. So you run into those problems where people may have to reallocate their money uh, even into cash just to pay bills. So they might liquidate stocks, they might liquidate cr cryptocurrencies. If anything, people tend to liquidate their highest risk investments, which I think right now, a lot of people own cryptocurrencies, which is awesome, but that is also a high risk investment. And I think people understand that. And I think that is the first thing that they liquidate to get back into cash and basically be able to cover their, their normal expenses. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is all my opinion on things. Everything plays out how, however, you know, there, no one knows what's going on. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Anyone's guess is basically as good as mine. I just hope that you guys enjoyed the video and at least take some value from it because I think these are all things at least you, you should consider, especially if you're looking at investing. If you're investing for the first time, I don't think it's a bad idea. Throw throw a hundred bucks or 200 bucks into a cryptocurrency or into the stock market. Let the market kind of play itself out, but just make sure you have money on the sidelines. That's all it comes down to, right? Make sure you have 20 to 30% of your, your basically total uh, that you would like to invest. Keep that on the sidelines and make sure that you have it there if things turn out poorly, you know? And as you keep making money, right you can add a little bit to your your cash and then keep adding a little to your crypto or to your stock market account as long as you manage your money you'll be fine and there won't be any problem to it i just worry that right there could be a lot of greed in the market and a lot of people overexposing themselves to cryptocurrency so again i hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a thumbs up uh, and if you want to catch more videos like this make sure you subscribe otherwise have a wonderful rest of your day